Mawson back down low, centering pass, picked off by Styley. He couldn't send it, kept in by the swarm. Still able to keep it in the blue. Mawson dangles around one, goes for the shot, and they've scored. Mawson dangled around one player, took the shot, and it's in the back of the net for the swarm. Doing a good job of stopping the Phoenix Thunder from working their way out. Jack Lewis looks across to Gregory. Gregory puts across and Jack Lewis can't finish it, but he has it now. Phoenix Thunder get on the board on the halfway mark. Did it go in initially? I think it did. I think the initial shot just went straight in into the back of the net. And Jack Lewis gets his third goal on the season. Won't be a two minute five on three. It'll be a minute five of five on three. Thunder want to win this puck. Harford has it as Dave couldn't get it out. Oh, Billy Sheard had trouble keeping that one in. And it's Chalice with Daigle. But Dag, he goes across to Dag, he shoots, he scores! Five on three, shorthanded goal for the Admirals. This is incredible. How, how do you score a shorthanded goal playing five on three? The Admirals, Chalice and Daigle. Dag, I mean, one of the most dangerous players in the NZIHL. You give him the puck and he will make it happen. I think Shuck just lost his position there as he went across ice. Didn't quite get the push that he wanted. Sistrone so sends it across for Regan. Regan will come back looking for his options. Stops behind the net. Off to uh, Henry as he finds nice Sistrone pass. with a great pass and shoots. He scores. That was uh, Henry with a great pass up through the neutral zone there to Sistrone. He went in all on his own here. You see his one pass and from behind the blue line right up to the other blue for Sistrone. Then he goes and over the blocker of Moore. Yeah, I heard him from this side of the ice. Sistrone was yelling for that puck and Henry with a very nice pass through the middle there. say half the people in the stands are players wouldn't you say close yeah, to it yeah it would be probably and the other half of their partners <laughs> yeah Andy Hay makes a good move and it's a great goal what for a the finish. Botany Swarm Andy Hay with a fantastic move and Jonsson finished it four on four goal for the Botany Swarm Over the blue line, dumps it in and gives chase. Oh, and he gets a lucky bounce. And it's Polozov uh, getting denied there. Doesn't get the shot to the net. And we've got a break. Uh, McCarg. And oh. comes in, skates around the defenseman and around Canada and throws it into a gaping cage, folks. It that is, is one nothing Stampede. That is a play I see Max try and practice every single day so not surprised that that paid off for him what a great individual effort there by is it it's mccarg yeah max mccarg he's and nichols calmly takes that out of his back third brown has it as he goes up the left side and a call harrison looks at that go right by her right ear 5-2 to score, and that's a big one for the Red Devils. So good for Sean Brown to find the hole there. There's not a lot to shoot at coming up that left wing. He's a left-hand shot, so that obviously makes it a worse angle for him. But started by Dan Nichols there, just so calm out of his own zone. What a difference maker he's been for the Red Devils all year long. App swings it all the, uh, to the other side to Eden. Eden's got it in the corner. 25 seconds to go in the regulation. Eden still has it out to Nichols. Nichols holds it at the blue line. It stays in. Nichols winds up, and that's blocked. Oh! It's a goal! <laughs> Nichols rips it from the point, explodes the 
stick on the way through. What happened, Matt? He absolutely blistered a stick, and it went in. Looks like that was a thunder stick, so the goal will probably stand for Dan Nichols, scoring with 14 and a half seconds left on the clock. We, we can still do it. Yeah. Just so we, we so can yeah, end on... Um, Fortnov could have potentially been 4-5. Here comes Max McCarg. Fakes and scores. Lovely move there, yeah. Max McCarg. So definitely now Atwell has to score or the Swarm are done for in this game. Yep. He holds on to the puck. He falls down, but he holds on to the puck. He's a great skater, great stick handler, this Polozov guy. And he gets it to Sandoy. Sandoy looking for the shot. Polozov kicks up the rebound, and he goes to Sandoy for the win. Yep. What a play. Kennedy running down. And 35 games comes to an yeah. end, Colin. And that right there is we shouldn't have been talking about it, right? <laughs> yes, yes. It all well, comes down to conditioning, or not conditioning, positioning. You have Callum Burns on Polozov, and then Polozov leaves. You have someone else come to him. Sandoy wide open back door. I didn't see Sandoy wide open. I was yeah. looking at Polozov. What is he going to do?